let's get it 28 day gratitude challenge from the book a great mystery is revealed by Rhonda Byrne author of the secret Shh. magical 28 minutes for 28 days that's going to change your life forever join us on the journey smash that subscribe button smash that like button drop a comment let us know are you accepting the challenge are you going to join join the journey what's your favorite day so far you know what i mean share this with a friend they will really appreciate you i will really appreciate you for sure join us in the discord too link is in the description get on in there we just surpassed 600 members let's go a whole lot of like-minded individuals man come interact get the exclusive updates ahead of time and yes let's get into it day 16 get excited man i love you thank you for being here i appreciate you day 16 magic and miracles and health mm. quote miracles are not contrary to nature but only contrary to what we know about nature saint augustine we should feel healthy energized and full of happiness most of the time because that is how it feels to have our bright our birthright of full health the reality however is that a lot of people don't feel this way very often if ever many people are dealing with illnesses problems with functioning of their body or suffering from bouts of depression and our mental health problems which are all states of less than full health gratitude is one of the fastest ways i know to magically begin experiencing the full state of health you are meant to have in your body and mind all the miracles of healing we see happen are simply the result of full health being restored instantly in the human body where before there was less than full and perfect health if you don't think gratitude creates miracles in your health and body then read some of the thousands of miracles stories the secret website then it has www.thesecret.tv slash stories gratitude's magical power increases the natural flow of health of the mind and body <clears throat> and can assist the body in healing more quickly as countless studies have shown the magical power of gratitude also works hand in hand with good bodily care nutrition and any medical assistance you might have chosen to follow when there's some kind of sickness or condition in your body it is understandable that you may have negative feelings about it like worry frustration or fear but having negative feelings about sickness does not restore health in fact it has the opposite effect it reduces health even more to increase your health you need to replace the negative feelings with good feelings and gratitude is the easiest way to do it many people also have critical thoughts and feelings about dissatisfaction about their physical appearance unfortunately those thoughts and feelings also reduce the magical flow of health when there's something you don't like about your body you are not being grateful for your body think about it by the law of attraction complaints about your body bring more problems to complain about and so complaining about your body appearance puts your health at risk quote whoever has gratitude for their health and body will be given more and he or she will have an abundance of health to their body you may be sick or unwell now or even in a lot of pain but if you are reading these words you are continuing to receive the gift of health. It can be very difficult to access feelings of gratitude when sick or in pain, but even the smallest bit of gratitude helps increase the magical flow of health to the body. Today's practice, magic and miracles in health, is designed to dramatically increase your health and happiness. And you're gonna take a triple pronged approach to accelerate the results. Step one, are you ready? Health you've received, past. Health you've received, past. Think about the great health you have received throughout your childhood, adolescence, and adult life. Think about the times when you felt full of energy and you were happy, 
Recollect three separate times in your mind when you felt on top of the world, say the magic words, thank you, and feel sincere gratitude for those times, even if it's right now, I'm feeling it. If you think back to the big moments in your life, you will be able to recollect three separate times very easily. Step two, health you're continuing to receive, present. Think about the health you are continuing to receive today and feel grateful for every organ, system, and physical sense that is currently work working well in your body. Think about your arms, legs, hands, eyes, ears, liver, kidneys, brain, or heart. Choose five functions of your body that are working, that are well, and one by one, mentally say the magic words, thank you for each one. Step three, health you want to receive, future. You're gonna choose one thing about you're going to choose one thing you want to improve about your body for today's magical practice, but you're going to use gratitude's magical power for it in a very particular way. Think about the ideal state of what you want to improve. When you give thanks for the ideal state of anything, you have put into motion to receive back that ideal state. Very often when a person is diagnosed with an illness or disease of some kind, they will not only talk about it a lot, but they will research the disease, gathering information about its possible worsening symptoms and dreaded outcomes. In other words, they give their entire focus to the disease. No good. However, the law of attraction says that we can't make a problem go away by focusing on it because focusing on the problem can only make the problem worse. Instead, we should do the exact opposite and focus on the ideal state for the area of our body that is unwell and give our thoughts and feelings to that. Gratitude for the ideal state of any part of your body powerfully uses, your, uses our thoughts and feelings together so we magnetize it to us in one fell swoop. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm excited about this one. Spend one minute in visualizing a scene of yourself with the ideal state of your body that you want. And as you see your body in your mind, the way you want it to be, be grateful for it as though you have received it. So if you want to magically restore your health, restore health to your kidneys, be grateful for strong and healthy kidneys that filter out, that filter and sift out all the waste products from your body. Thank you, kidneys. If you want to magically restore health to your body, be grateful for pure and healthy foods that flows oxygen and nutrients to all parts of your body if you want to magically restore health to your heart give thanks for a strong and healthy heart that maintains the well-being of every organ in your body if you want to magically improve your eyesight give thanks for excellent vision i love it if you want to improve your hearing then give thanks for perfect hearing if you want to if you want more flexibility then give thanks for a perfectly supple and agile body if you want to change your weight first think about the ideal weight that you want to be then imagine yourself at that ideal weight and give thanks for it as though you have received it now whatever it is that you want to improve first imagine yourself with that ideal state and then be a be grateful for the ideal state as though you have received it now claim your ideal state in the comments, let me know, what are you claiming? What is your ideal state that you're focusing on? Quote, natural forces within us are the true healers of disease, Hippocrates. You can follow the magic and miracles and health practice every day if you need to. And you can do it multiple times a day if you really want to accelerate the magical restoration of full health or the improvement of an aspect of your body. But it is vital that whenever you have a negative thought or feeling about the current state of your body or health, that you replace it immediately by visualizing yourself with the ideal state you want to state you want and by being truly grateful as though you have already received it. The most effective way to guarantee health, other than taking good care of yourself physically, is to continue to be grateful for your health. Magic practice number 16, magic and miracles in health. That was 16. Here go the task for the day. One, count your blessings. Make a list of 10 blessings. Write why you're grateful. Reread your list. 
And at the end of each blessing, say thank you, thank you, thank you, and feel as grateful for that blessing as you can. If you don't know, that came from day one. Go on my page, my channel, find the 28 day gratitude challenge and go back to day one. If this is your first day, you somehow stumbled across this on the, what do you call that? The subscriber page, <laughs> the timeline, um, but catch up. Two, recollect three separate times throughout your life when you felt on top of the world and give sincere thanks for those times. Three, think about five functions of your body that are well. And one by one, give thanks for each one. Four, choose one thing about your body or health you want to improve and spend one minute visualizing yourself with the ideal state of your body or health. Then give thanks for the ideal state. I'm buffing up a little bit, so I'm great get in the gym because it do take action on top of this you know mindset thing right five just before you go to sleep tonight hold your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words thank you for the best thing that happened on the day day 16 magic and miracles and health i'm gonna go buffing up and ah, get my ideal body you know what i'm saying let me know what you are going for and setting your intentions on it's gonna be an amazing day i see you back tomorrow and um if we have already jumped ahead and you're a little late catching on to these go ahead the the, the rest of the playlist is already available 28 days magical magical if you made it this long man i love you say i love you back in the comments let me know you rocking let me know this is adding some value to your life man i appreciate you you already know where there's a will there's a way hey